Hi everyone, I'd just like to welcome you to the uh, Swinburne Student Project for Businesses um, in the City of Glenarum Municipality. My name is Paul Kindler and my colleague Hi. is Gil Gilbert Ravalli. And we're both lecturers um, at, at Swinburne University of Technology and have been involved in these programs for some time. Um, I'd just like to thank the City of Glenarum for the opportunity of uh, participating in, in their program, which has been very successful over the years. And that, in essence, this is very much about um, bringing together education and business um, into a partnership to, you know, really achieve outcomes for both businesses um, and our students working on real projects. Okay, thank you. I, I, um, my thanks as well. Um, the, the idea of these projects is that we're trying to get benefits to, to your businesses as well as an opportunity for professional development for, for our students. So we certainly want to see this as a win-win situation for both yourselves out there in the community who are trying to run businesses or start businesses and also for our students. So um, it's not about, this is, all, uh, this is about students and it's not just about business. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's working together in a partnership so that both groups are benefit, benefiting from this opportunity. Cool. So, so um, we source industry partners, obviously, from uh, the city of Guanara um, and, and uh, outside that as well. And this, this program has been running for some well, 17 years. Um, and our association with Guanara has been, I think, nearly that long. Um, often what we get is, and what we found, and even surprisingly um, during this COVID period, the demand often exceeds the supply of um, student groups. We had a large number of um, projects last semester. Um, but so what we have to do and what we do is to ensure that there is a match between um, both the students and the, and the um, projects is, is interview each client uh, to make sure that you know, the project's suitable for the skill sets that our, our students have. And also um, we're able to actually uh, achieve an outcome in the timelines that we have available for these projects. We um, expect um, that our students will produce a, a quality outcome for, um, for, for the clients that are involved in this program. So, you know, as Gil said, it's, it's very much a win-win situation, not just about, about the students, but also about the end results that, that are achieved. Yeah, just to give, to give you an idea of the numbers, I mean, last semester we ran 50 projects. Mm. Uh, so it's a pretty substantial sort of number uh, that we, we have. So what can we do for you? Uh, well, the, the beauty of uh, Swinburne and the way we run our program is that we have students from a wide variety of areas who have become involved in our projects. So if you have a look at the slide, you'll see that they're marketing students, business analysis and design students, people involved in you know, business development, websites, finance, logistics, supply chain, software, database systems, business intelligence. So it's a very wide gamut of skills uh, and knowledge that are available uh, to you. Um, and uh, one of the things that we like to um, emphasize is the idea that we're, we're in it to, to have to come up with holistic solutions to all, all the, uh, the, the, the projects. So uh, when we put together a team uh, to work on a project, we, we don't just normally put a whole bunch of IT students or a whole bunch of marketing students. What we'll do is actually mix and match the students skill sets to match the project so that you get a input from you know, a, a, a variety of areas. So I, I think that uh, that's one of the things that I think makes us somewhat distinctive uh, from other similar offerings is our holistic uh, solutions and, and the wide variety of skills that are available. Um, just yeah. one, one thing I was going to say is that often um, what happens is we're, we're asked um, in, in relation to a project uh, for our students to produce a website. And so, um, yes, we have, we have students who have um, web development skills, but, but we, we ask the clients to look at it and say holistically and say, okay, if the, if the website's successful, how are you going to leverage off it? Okay, that, that needs a marketing element. Um, if the marketing um, using the website and, and perhaps digital um, media, social media um, is successful and the business grows, are you, are you ready for that growth? Have you planned for that growth? you know, business planning. And so when we talk about holistic solutions, I guess we're looking at it from not just producing the artifact, 
but looking at how, how it can be a benefit to the business, um, both in the short term and the long term, um, which I think has been important in, in particularly the last 12 months with, with uh, businesses being shut down and COVID and all, all those sorts of things. So, and as Gil said, I think that really is one of the things that differentiates us from a lot of the other projects that are run um, in a similar way. So, uh, I, I think it's it's important to look at at this as a kind of win-win situation for everybody. So, first of all, what's in it for the universities to to to, to actually do this this particular program? Well, universities uh, are very much into uh, wanting to provide students with authentic experiences, which means real world, real life. That's 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 their that's their term for for authentic. Um, so, and the idea is that after they've done these these sorts of projects, uh, this, they get this experience. It prepares them for the workforce. Uh, so that's that's what's in it for the for the universities and why they become involved in these in these types of programs and, and projects. What's in it for the students? Well. They want to get real work, real world experience because they want to get better jobs. <laughs> they want to, they, they, in some cases, they just want to get jobs. Uh, yeah. So it's really important for, for, for them uh, as far as that, that's concerned. So and what's guess, in it for you? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, basically, um, you have a need um, that you perhaps can't fulfill um, yourself given limited resources, limited, limited access to, um, to those resources. So. Um, basically, at no cost to you, um, you're able to get access to um, students who, who are very, who tend to be very, very creative in their thinking, uh, not, not tarnished by, um, by the, the worldly experience that um, perhaps Gil and myself have um, in, in, uh, in problem solving. They actually come up with some you know, really innovative, creative um, solutions. So um, using students at no cost to yourself, as I said, um, and perhaps, or, or perhaps there, there are things that you're too busy to, to work on yourself because you're running running your business, um, or or maybe simply that you just want to explore uh, new ideas. We, we have a number of projects that we get where um, the clients have said to the students, "Okay, we I want you to come up. I want you to think outside the square. I want you to be innovative um, and come up with some uh, possibilities for you know for, for changing or re-engineering my business." Uh, in, in such a way that we can move into new new areas. So um, there's a lot in it for the business, and, and perhaps even um, what's not on that slide, but you know, producing an artifact that um, that is going to be a benefit to you uh, both in the short term and long term. Uh, here are just a few of our recent uh, industry project partners. Uh, you'll see just just from the names um, that it's a huge variety. You know. People who are just who are running micro businesses, people who are running small businesses, uh, not not for profits, <laughs> community groups. Uh, so it's it's available to virtually anyone, um, and we've we've done project also for large organisations as well. So uh, we're, we we have no particular sort of restrictions or, or, or filters there. We we will look at projects from from any area really. Um, so um, that's the, yeah. So. Well, let's go to the next slide. Who who can apply? So, Paul. Um, well, projects uh, are conducted for. We've had clients who have been individuals, micro businesses, uh, small, medium enterprises, or even larger organisations. Um, we've done a lot of um, projects for not for profits, um, which have been very very successful because it gives um, students an opportunity to work on perhaps some areas that, um, if they move once they graduate and move into larger uh, businesses, they wouldn't get that opportunity um, initially. Um, so basically um, anyone can apply, any business in the municipality. Um, projects uh, will be selected and that's probably Let the wrong date. Let me just change that. It should be um, February. So basically um, our semester starts uh, at the beginning of March. And so we will be going through um, submitted projects and selecting them uh, in late February. And we would expect that you'll be um, the successful projects that we should uh, notify shortly after that. Um, after that time, what will happen is your um, a team is assigned to um, the project. So, um, and some details of how we do that is um, in, in the next slides we talk about our model. But basically, um, you would be contacted by a team of students probably in the first or second week of March, um, who will then introduce themselves and and then we'll, we'll arrange a time to meet with you. 
Okay, uh, it's now let's just talk about how how we operate because this really again is a, another di a differentiator between ourselves and perhaps other, others who are running similar types of projects. Um, basically, what we do is we we put together for each project uh, a team of uh, around five students or so uh, from usually from multiple disciplines. You know, it just just depends on what the project needs. So we I think it's important, Gil, to just to stress that. Having interviewed every client um, and ascertained what 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 the needs are, we, we will then look at the types of skill sets that are needed from from the cohort of students that we have a, available to uh, to put into the project. Um, so I think I think that's a, that is a, a major differentiator. Mm. Um, yeah, each team has their own se separate project. So if there are if there are fifty projects, there will be fifty different teams. Uh, so your team is devoted to your particular project. So it's not a case of, you know, you've got six teams working on the project or anything like that. So one-to-one -one between the team and, and your particular project. Uh, each team is supervised. Uh, there's, a, there's a mentor slash supervisor, whatever you want to call it, who meets with the team on a very regular basis, usually weekly. Um, and they kind of make sure that the team is on track. Uh, and, 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 you know, uh, basically doing the, the, the right sorts of things, both from, a, a, you know, not just the, the actual content side of it, but actually in terms of communication uh, and, 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 and working with, with, with the client. Uh, the idea is that this is meant to be what's called, you know, it's often called an agile environment. And part of that is the idea that the team and the client are working together uh, all, th all through the project. Uh, so it's not a case of uh, the client says, oh, here's, here's, my, uh, here's my project and my goals, uh, and then go away for three months and come back and tell me what you've got. No, no, it's, it's very much, there's a lot of communication required. Uh, and it's, it is a situation where both the client and the team are learning um, about the project and what it, what it can and can't achieve um, on an on a ever-developing sort of basis. Uh, so there are no surprises at, at the end. Um, you as a client and the team uh, working with you throughout the whole project. I think I think I'd just add on uh, to that, Gil, that the more engaged you are with the students um, uh, in terms of communicating and when the students request um, some information, responding to it, the better the outcome. You know, the students students get really quite passionate about about these projects, and um, you know, if they're left if they're left without um, response for three or four weeks, often often they. They, they, they can lose focus. So the more engaged you are with the students, um, you know, the, the, the better the outcome in, in the long term. So mm. it's important. Well, we one of the that. things that we emphasize to every team is that this is a real project. This is not an assignment uh, or anything. Where, you know, there's, a, there's a real person who has a real need. And so we expect every team to come up with something of value for the, for the client. And that's one of the things we absolutely emphasize. So we don't want to waste your time with a, with a team that's just dithering around for a whole semester and, and then says, can say, at the end, oh, we had a great time, you know. No, well, the aim of the project is to deliver something to the client of value. Uh, so I think that's, that's one thing to, to get across. So you're not just there to do the, the team a favor. Uh, it, it's a win-win situation here. Um, and absolutely. it's really important that the, the students get the right mindset that, you know, when you're doing projects for clients, the expectation is you're going to deliver something. Um, and, 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 you know, to the, from the student perspective, uh, one, one of the things that we do with the students is part of our, obviously we have to assess them in some way. We, we have, um, we have a, um, a weekly journal they write and, and some of the feedback, you know, when you get towards the end of the semester is just how, you know, how refreshing, how, how exciting this whole process has been. Yes, it, yes, it's been challenging. Um, yes, there are, there have been some, you know, um, interesting uh, you know, sort of things along the journey. But but in the end, it's you know, it's one of the best experiences they've had at university. So you know, so it, it's a great opportunity um, for both um, businesses and and students. One of the areas that that can be a bit of a weak spot for 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 our student teams is that they've never really worked with clients before and, and often they don't have the you know very great communication skills or project management skills and this is where uh, we support each team quite closely both with our lectures that uh, that we give them and also the mentors 
and, and we, we focus on the soft skills, you know, negotiating things with, with the client, making sure that they communicate on a, on, a, on a regular basis, that they're disciplined in the way that they operate, uh, that they're respectful, and all, that, all these sort of soft skills that, uh, that, that people are looking for uh, in, you know, in, in employees or anyone that they're actually working with. So these are things that we emphasize. And it, uh, I think we, we have to be honest, some, some students are a bit rough, but by, by the end of the project, uh, even the, the, the rough students are getting smoother and smoother uh, and yeah, getting better yeah. uh, at, 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 their t at their task. So, some of, you know, some of the students surprise us, don't they, Gil? Just in just oh, in how yes. they, how much they grow throughout the throughout the process and yes. throughout the journey. That's you know, right. Yeah, that's where it's a really a great learning experience. Okay, so uh, now Paul sort of mentioned this before, but just to re reiterate, um, what happens is that um, uh, you can apply for to to submit a student project. Now, if uh, if you're not quite sure whether you've got something that's gonna it's, it's a real project, uh, feel free to contact either Paul or myself. And we're, we're happy to talk through uh, any, any project ideas you might have, because you might be thinking, oh, is this, is this, is this too trivial? Is this too hard? Uh, you know, is it in the right area? So we're, we're, we're quite happy to talk to you about that. But And you can actually submit a project. I, I look, I, in either case, we are gonna, we're going to interview you because that's, that's part of our process that ensures the quality of the work that we actually do. So we look at the, we actually, what, look at what you want to do and we assess it to make sure that it's okay. We, we might recraft it a little bit um, with you uh, to make sure that it's kind of within our guidelines and it can be done in, in the time span and those sorts of things. So don't worry about if it's rough. We can help you fill in the gaps. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, then when, once we've interviewed all uh, at the clients, we select the project that we, we can run with, uh, which is based on, if you like, to some extent, how many teams we've got. So this is the, the problem that Paul mentioned before, you know, we have to match the project with the, the number of students that we have to actually yeah. do them. So there's a bit of a, so we, we can never guarantee that your project will be accepted because we never know exactly how many students we, we're going to get. Well, not, not until not until the end of- Yeah, not until period. right the, the end of Feb basically. Um, and then we, we assign appropriate supervisors. So we, we always try to make sure that we have supervisors who are on, who are on top of that, that particular project. So we aren't gonna put someone who's an IT expert in charge of a marketing, a basically marketing project and, and vice versa. So we try to match the supervisors with the actual type of project so that they can provide the appropriate input. Yeah, well, I think it's important to mention that, that, that we actually assign the teams. Um, the students don't volunteer for projects. Um, or, or get um, or say I want to work with um, you know my friend. Uh, what what we do is we look at the the needs of the project and as I said before in terms of skills and we assign um, people to those um, to those those projects based on their skill sets and based on on what we perceive as being their ability um, and the complexity of the project. So um, so yes, we, we there is a lot of planning that goes on in the process. Um, a few sleepless nights, I, I, I would say, to, you know, towards the end of um, February, so that we we're ready at the beginning of March to, um, you know, for the um, the whole thing to 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 start um, start off. And um, so, you know, yeah. but that's important to know that that you know people haven't volunteered for your project; they've actually been allocated based on on you know their skill sets. Yeah. Projects run basically for three months. They run across March, April, and May. Um, and then there are some formal presentations uh, in the first week or so of, of June. Uh, but really, um, the, 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 the presentations at the end are just a formality, uh, because as we mentioned before, you, you'll be working with the team all through the semester. So you'll know by the end of May what it is that they've produced, because they've, they've been producing it with you. So, um, yeah, so you, it's, it's, it's a three-month project. So it's always interesting, Gil, that when we... Um... We sit in on these presentations, and um, and we, we we can we can see even even online, um, we can soon tell whether the uh, client has has been communication and there's a strong rapport. And typically, what what happens when we ask the client if um, if you've got any you know if you've got any questions to ask is that no no I already I already know I've been through this with the, the team. I just want to say how you know how I enjoyed the experience or, or whatever. So um, when we see when we hear that, we know that it's been a successful um, project and a successful act outcome because that's what we're trying to achieve that, you know that, that concept of of continual communication throughout the journey 
Uh, uh, Paul mentioned we, we, we're out there trying to do a good job uh, for, for, ev for every single client. And just to give you some, some idea, if you like, just give you a little bit of feedback. Uh, this is uh, uh, the first one here is a Canadian company that was trying to establish something in, uh, in Australia. Um, they were looking at market entry criteria, the doing a competitive analysis and making recommendations. So the, the, the clients were very impressed. The depth and thoroughness of the analysis provided by the students surpassed that of many of the large consulting firms. So I think that's pretty high praise. Um, uh, not for profit. Said, yeah, I think, I think there's a the fair diversity of, of um, you know, different areas, you know, not for profits. Mm marketing yeah, yeah. and local business so yeah you know. so great work exactly what i needed um so i'm hoping you know have a look at these um and you'll see that the the, the, the people are quite impressed uh by the quality of the work that that students are actually producing and and, and just to add their creativity you know i think mm. i think in innovation you know what a project that i was involved with um actually it was a Gonara project last semester, the client was was just so impressed with with the creativeness and the creative ideas that the um, students had. Um, so, you know, just be aware of that, that they, they are, um, they are um, quite creative and innovative in their thinking. Maybe, maybe I just, I can talk about this if you want. Um, sure. Yeah, look, um, a lot of, a lot of um, people said, how do you run projects? How did you run projects um, uh, over the last 12 months in a COVID environment? You know, it must surely it must have um, curtailed your activities, and and conversely, um, I think both both of us would, would agree that that really the experience was enhanced because um, running online using you know things like Zoom or Teams or Microsoft Teams or or, or something equivalent um, increased flexibility uh, for both the students and the clients. And one one of the things that's always I guess problematic is that um, Small businesses are so involved in running their day-to-day -day activities that, you know, fitting in a uh, meeting with a team of students often often becomes complicated. Whereas, uh, if you can hop online after hours um, and have a have a session, um, those 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 complexities uh, no longer exist. Mm. Uh, and you know, and uh, so so I, I have to say um, that over the, the COVID period, um, you know, the the outcomes in some some degree or to some degree actually improved uh, as a result of having that that flexibility and, and often the ability to meet with both um, clients and students and students and supervisors yeah um, still yeah oh, sorry yeah so look sometimes you might be in a position look i can only talk to you during office hours that's fine because the students can always rearrange their schedule to suit you you might you might not be available at night well, we've had plenty of teams that only met with their clients at night. Sometimes it's the weekends. Now, yeah. sometimes you might need to have two or three uh, meetings in a week. Well, that's easy. Uh, you know, when you're doing it online, it's not. It's not it doesn't become an issue anymore. So, uh, I think, if anything, I think we found that everything worked. It's worked really well. Um, and now we're going to have the the best of both worlds because we have yeah. the ability to have face to face meetings uh, where it's necessary. Uh, but also lots of you know online meetings as, as required. So uh, I, I don't think there's there's any particular um, uh, problems. You can also do things like share documents on screen. You don't have to kind of send them out or anything like that. Um, so uh, it's 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 been a, a great experience and one I must admit that I was a bit uh, a bit apprehensive about, but I, I'm 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 a total convert now. Um, I, I think online is is work has worked out really well, um, and there are not very many occasions. If you find if you have any difficulty, you haven't used um, this communication medium before. Um, the students have all used it, um, particularly in the last twelve months, and, and they, they will support you through that that process. If, oh, if yeah, look, yeah, we've had a few teams like we've had a few clients who kind of very 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 reluctant and sort of saying, "Oh, I've never done this before. How do I do it?" Yeah, look, it's they've they've all been able to you know to to to, to get on board because the students will support them. Uh, with you know to show them exactly how you do it and it's it's really it's really quite straightforward it's just a matter of if you've never done it before just you know as long as you've got an inter internet connection and a web browser basically it's a couple of clicks and and, you, and you're on you're in, in an online meeting so don't and, let that you know, and they've become converts as well haven't they oh absolutely that's true once they get used to it think oh <laughs> this is better than sliced bread so uh, perhaps just maybe if we just uh yep. conclude here um 
some so the three points I think we want to kind of get across are the idea that um, we we're trying to come up with holistic solutions, and the way we do that is that we select teams on the basis of multiple skill sets that are required to solve a particular business problem. Um, project management: uh, the students are you know are encouraged to manage their projects effectively and work with their clients effectively, but there's always a mentor in the background to make sure that this is actually occurring. And if they're having troubles, the mentor is there to actually support them. And the other aspect of, of this, which is a real, I think, differentiator is the client engagement. You are working with the team throughout the whole span of the project across three months to come up with a solution that you're all happy with uh, and there's no, there's no surprise at the end, you know, it's because you've been working with the team to actually come up with a, with a solution that is satisfactory to you. But so, for, you know, for example, and we, we use the word agile there. So, you know, if, if the project is predominantly a marketing project, um, it's, it's not a situation where uh, the students meet with you, get a project brief, then they go away for 12 weeks and come back with a, a final marketing report or marketing strategy. They will, they will walk through that, you know, Progressively um, and build on that on that project until they come up with a final a final recommendation and perhaps um, if there's time permitting uh, an implementation process or, or even implement some of those those aspects. So agile simply means um, that they are working with you very closely um, throughout throughout the journey and, and having deliverables progressively throughout the project. Not you know not this sort of notion of um, project brief outcome after 12 weeks. Um, so and it, and it works really well. Um, it gives better results. It means that you're um, constantly engaged with the, um, the students. The students are getting feedback to make sure they're on the right track, um, and and the outcome is is often much more positive than than uh, using that alternative approach. So, so, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for wading through all this. Yes. Um, if you need to contact us or would like to contact us. Uh, our contact email is, is down below there for both of us. So yeah. feel free to just email us if you've got any questions uh, or if you want to toss around some ideas or, or um, if you want to submit a project, you'll just, just work through the city of Glenara and you can submit a project uh, to uh, Suzette uh, or whoever else she, she might be appointing to that, that particular role. So uh, yeah, look, I, I, if I can just add, Gil, um, you know, I, I think in a number of cases we've had people contact us um, because, as you said before, they're, they're not sure they've got a, a viable project. And we've, we've kind of fleshed it out with them um, to say, well, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about this? And, and often uh, what their initial idea has been sort of built into this thing that does look like a um, coherent, um, tangible product or project that, that, um, that, that would be good for the students. So, so don't, you know, feel, feel free to, to make contact with us. We're more than happy to um, discuss it with you. Okay, so thank you again for your time. Absolutely. Thank you.